This is one of the toughest course in the whole of India's history. This course is having such a high value. If any person is known to be that particular qualified person, right, each and every individual will respect him to the core. In my first class of this particular course, all that the question I am going to ask is, why this course? Majority of the answers I get is, sir, I want to make a hell lot of money. Otherwise, I want respect. Ijjat chahiye. These are the two major reasons which I have heard a lot. Which course am I speaking about? I am speaking about the professional course which is called as Chartered Accountancy. As the name says Chartered, it is having the Charter value in India. This course is ranked as the toughest course in the whole of India's history, as said in the beginning. And the interesting part about this particular course is, this course can be pursued by any middle class person and they can start it immediately after their 12th standard. This course, Chartered Accountancy, it is so highly valued that any person who gets into this, getting in is very easy, but getting out is very difficult. Just the way you have CAT exams. In the exact same way, you have something called as UPSC. What happens here is, in CAT exams, getting in is very difficult, but once you get in, your life is settled. Whereas this course, getting in is very easy. Anybody can get into this particular professional course. Reason is, this course is going to have a, such a high standard with respect to knowledge, not with respect to quota. That's the reason why this course is pursued by many middle class people who have been at the highest class position right now. For your information, our Railway Cabinet Minister, Mr. Piyush Goel, even he himself is a CL. Our most celebrated shark, that is Aman Gupta, he himself is again a CM. So many of you guys will ask, what will you get out of CA? One very important thing you get out of CA is patience. The most important thing for any business to succeed, for any individual to succeed is patience. That patience is something which you will learn in this particular professional course. See, Chartered Accountancy, it all comes with just three levels, CA Foundation, CA Inter and CA Final. In between, you will also have a practical work experience of two years. All this will count for your career, for your growth trajectory. This course, why is it difficult? Let's try to understand. The idea is very simple. The syllabus is super, super vast. When I say super, super vast, please understand you are going to study somewhere around 25 plus acts. You are going to have a information from accounts law taxation to audit strategic management as well as financial management. All these things make this course a huge burden on your head. But guys, please understand by the time you achieve this particular qualification that all the burden whatever you have taken right, it will all be worth it for one day. Now you decide day one or one day. Day one can be started any point of time. But if you struggle and hustle for a certain period of time, that one day you will achieve whatever you want. And many people say, oh, CA percentage is very less. 2%, 5%, 10%, yeah. It's not about the percentage or it's not about the qualification that you graduate with. Not just the paper which values you. What values you is the amount of knowledge you have earned. And most importantly, the kind of knowledge the way you are going to implement for your clients, for your businesses and make sure that you will grow to the highest position possible. So all this is fine, why CA? For that if you ask, the answer is very simple. More than 80% of the people join CA profession with one major reason, that is Paisa Karne ka hai. Money is the best perfume one can ever find. Reason is, money can solve more than 90% of your problems. The other 10% of the problems can be solved with your emotional question. So, why don't you focus on the other 90%, right? Hence, majority of the people join for this course. So, does that mean this course is truly good? Yeah. But in recent times, people have been speaking a little bit bad about this course as well. Again, the reason for that is very simple. Why? Because once you become a CA, they expect that, Oh, I'll get 25 lakhs per annum. Oh, I'll get 50 lakhs per annum. No. You get that money over the period. CA course is such a thing, it's more like a drug. In the starting, you don't get a kick out of it. 
but by the time you get involved with it you get a crazy kick out of it so how do i say this what happens i'll tell you in the starting of your career the kind of salary you see right that will be very less for sure but year on year year on year the kind of growth you see right that will be exponential that is what you need to focus a ca by the age of 25 will not be a karodpati but the same ca by the age of 30 35 40 he will definitely be a karodpati provided he is implementing the knowledge he has acquired and at the same time just completing ca should not be your goal learning the concept knowing how to implement and when to implement how to take care of your clients is what matters so all in all the knowledge in the ca is more important than just a ca course so guys considering i have said so much do understand one more very interesting factor here why people join ca but many of them don't pursue it or many of them quit in the middle the reason is very simple this ca course the journey gets difficult and difficult because of which many people will quit in between but again i'll tell you as i said in the starting patience is the very key factor in your ca profession so guys no matter what stay in the game for a while and trust me you get the best outcome which you can ever expect for so why this course is being so difficult the reason is very simple chartered accountants are not required the way we need a bcom graduates or the way we need the engineers because engineers will have a lot of work to do on a day to day basis but the chartered accountants will have a lot of work to do but at the same time if there are lacks to the chartered accountants or close together then the problem is demand and supply if everybody is a chartered accountant who will you go to filing for your it return who will sign your audit reports all these things will be a problem so we need to have less number of cas we need to have less number of upsc qualified less number of kpsc qualified because they run the economy do you want to be one among those big set of people think about it so now very interesting thing can we start it immediately after 12 yes exactly and most importantly you should start it immediately after 12 only there is a misconception here many people think i'll complete 3 years of bcom i'll properly enjoy after enjoying for 3 years i'll go ahead and start with my ca that's the most bullshit thing one can ever think why let me try to explain it to you see the point is very simple ca course takes minimum of 5 to 7 years of time to get graduated so at this point by the time you start when you are done with your bcom you are already 21 or 22 years old So at that time, if you start by the age of 27 or 28, you are going to be a qualified CA. And do you think you'll get so much of time for you to only focus on your studies rather than seeing the other set of growth? All of your friends will be doing jobs in Deloitte, KPMG, EY, in all these places. Now you will get into that peer pressure, saying that, "Hey, yar, I am still writing my exams. My friends are already doing a job." That is where the problem will start. that should not happen to you so for that what you are supposed to do is start your ca journey immediately after your 12th standard you pass or you fail you have a time to reverify every damn thing in these 3 years of time and why i suggest not to do ca immediately after your bcom for that also let me give you a reason the reason is pretty simple guys see once you are done with your bcom whatever you start with your ca inter somewhere you will think let me do job as well at the same time i'll balance my ca i can do both no you can't balance two either you are doing ca or you are not doing ca if you think oh i'll manage ca and i'll manage job forget about it job bhi nahi hoga ca bhi nahi hoga trust me on this most difficult thing don't do okay because of all these factors it becomes difficult for you to do after your bcom so when are you supposed to start it with immediately after your 12th standard so focus on that guys so for this i have a very interesting analogy if a ca can't make money in this country right then trust me nobody can ever make money reason is very simple ca is one guy who knows finance who knows accounts who knows tax who knows every damn hack which is existing in the government if he can't make money who else will make money obviously right so yeah ca can definitely make money no doubt on that but please understand making money takes time if at all you make 10 lakh rupees today trust me 
there is not much of a growth in the future. So there should always be a sustainable growth. That is when you are going to succeed in your career even being a CEO. So yeah, will you make money? For sure. What is the scope? If you want to start a business, yes. A CA can never fail in a business because he knows every damn loophole which exists in a business because that is his job to fix these loopholes. And if you want to practice, definitely yes. Every business who is making more than one CR or two CR turnover, they want their documents, their accounts to be filed and also auditing needs to happen. To get all this done, again, there is a requirement of a CA and you are a chartered accountant. And at the same time guys, job, not just in India, but also in abroad, you will always have the opportunities because all over the world, the CA qualification definitely has a value. Provided you are little bit tech savvy and you are open to take the new ideas and initiatives. If you are ready for that, all over the world, even in abroad, you do have a good amount of job opportunities. And all in all, are you settled for your life? I would say no. The whole idea with respect to CA is the point when you become a CA, right? That is where the actual struggle will start. That is where the growth trajectory will start happening to you. Completing CA is one part, but being a successful CA is altogether a different ballgame. Is that going to happen? For sure. Are you supposed to put effort? 100% yes. But for all that, we will be there to support you and help you out. Still, if you haven't subscribed to iPrivilege, make sure that you are subscribing it right now. And guys, what is the salary a chartered accountant can earn? Very interesting question, but I really feel angry when someone asks me this question. Arey bhai, there is no limit when you are a chartered accountant. If the same thing is being asked by a UPSC qualified or a KPSC qualified, we can say 1.5 lakh rupees, 2 lakh rupees. For a MP or MLA, there is a fixed salary. 1.5, 2, 3, 4, something we can say. But for a CA, there is no limit. Sky is the limit. So all in all, all that I would suggest you is, don't focus on the salary. Focus on the turnover. Focus on making more money rather than getting into a job. Okay, fine, all this is fine. But still, if at all we want to go for a job, we want to work for a while, then if you want to go ahead and do our practice or our business, what is the salary? The minimum salary you can expect is somewhere in between 12 to 15 lakhs rupees per annum. No doubt, this is something which is going to be possible. So for that, what are you supposed to do? You should have a great technical knowledge and your communication skills and the level of confidence you own, right? It should be next level. Before even you being a CA, try to behave like a CA. That is something which makes you stand out and makes you successful. All these things matters guys. The way you dress up, the way you show up, the way you speak, the way you are confident enough to deliver a particular idea. All these things matter. So for that, all that you need is the right mentors, the right coaching. That is where we come in. And Sri Narendra Modi has said one very interesting thing. More than a PM's signature, if there is another signature which is having a better value, that is a CA signature. So guys, this is all about CA and most of you have already joined us. I am very sure and I am very confident that you guys will make a great career, no doubt on that. So in that case, stay tuned with iProlet for more and more informational videos and also this can be considered as an orientation for your CA journey. So guys, why fear when iProlet is here? For you to help, we believe in one thing that we provide you a tons of knowledge which helps you not just in your career but also in your life. So for all that, all that you should do is stay tuned, be consistent, be determined on achieving that one thing. That is Chartered Accountancy. This is one of the toughest course but still it gives you all that you are looking out for. So in that case, what are you waiting for? Start your journey, complete your exams in first attempt, second attempt, third attempt. Doesn't matter. But complete your exams. That's the only thing which matters in this particular profession.